there's C, okay? And the base angles in an isosceles triangle, they're congruent. And these sides are congruent in an isosceles triangle, okay? So they're saying, here you go, uh, 7x minus 27, that's angle B. So if you, if you needed to, you could say, all right, here, this is 7x minus 27. And then this other one is 5x minus 5. What is the measure of angle A? Okay, so this is like a loaded question. So first thing is, since these are equal, you need to set these equal and solve for X. Can you uh, do that for me, please, sir? Can you solve 7X minus 27 equals 5X minus 5? Yeah. So I would subtract 5X on both sides. Okay. And then I want you to work this out. So if you got if you got pencil and paper and need to go and grab that, please do. All right. Uh do I what you said is correct. It, it, so I could I could I think I could do this on my head. So yeah, and then you'd get uh positive two x minus twenty-seven equals negative five, and then you would add twenty-seven on both sides. And you'd get um, positive 22. Okay. And then 2x equals positive 22. And you divide two on both sides and you'd get 11. Okay. Very good. Now, that is not the answer, although that is the answer. So in uh, standardized tests, which actually this course is a really good preparation for, I call this the strategy that A is the most common wrong answer because it's just an intermediate step. But you get it and you're like, oh, there's 11, I'm done. Nope, that's not what they want. You need to put 11 back into one or the other equation to find the base angle. Oh yeah. All right, so why don't you do five and then in parentheses, 11 minus five. And then you multiply it, so it'd be 55 minus five. So okay. be 50. And since they're the same, those are the base angles. Now, what do the what does the sum, sum of the interior angle of a triangle, what does the sum of the interior angles in a triangle add up to? 180. 180. So it'd be okay. 80. So the missing one is 80. Now, what is it asking for? Um, what is angle A? Okay. What do you think? 80. It's 80. Good. There you go. A lot of intermediate steps to get to the, the thing you actually want. Yeah. All right. So, so in triangle ABC shown, AB it's six and AC is four. Um, so again, kind of, here's another thing that you will do a lot in this course is you will draw the shapes so that they're not overlapping. It's easier to see if they're not sticking on top of each other. So AB is six, AC is four, okay? Which statement is needed to prove that segment BE is parallel to BC and half its length. Okay. So if if DE is parallel to BC, that means that DA is half of AB. So what would the length of AB be? Three. Or D, sorry, AD, yeah, three. So that gets you down to either A or B. So use the same logic to find the length of AE. Two. Okay, so what is the answer? Second one. Got it. A lot of words on this one. Figure shows a quadrilateral. Sides A, B, and B, C are congruent and parallel. Okay. Um, all right. So it says side A, B is parallel to side D, C. That's given. So the alternate interior angles A, B, D, A to B to D. So this angle right here and angle B, D, C. B to D to C, this angle right here, are congruent. 
side AB is equal to side C. That's already given. Do you see that? Yeah. And BB is the common side to triangles ABD and BCD. So here, that's actually what we're missing here. So here's triangle ABD. A, B, D, and triangle B, C, D. Okay. Yeah. So here's what we have so far. This angle right here is congruent to this angle right here. This side on the bottom is congruent to this side on the top. And we know that B, B is congruent to itself. Sorry, I miss uh, I mislabeled these. Subtle, but it, it does matter. This angle is congruent to this angle. Okay. So the first sentence here, I want you. Here's what I want you to do. This this the is I want you to read starting from side AB to right there, and just follow that. What I've drawn is what you see as being. Like, don't look at the white. Look at the, the two triangles here, please. Just confirm that what you see is true. All right. Yeah, it looks all right. Okay, so here are some possibilities for congruence. AAS, angle, angle, side. HL postulate is hypotenuse leg. That applies to right triangles. SAS means side, angle, side. SSS means side, side, side. So I want you to look at these two triangles and decide, is it AAS, angle, angle, side? Is it a right triangle, side, angle, side? Or is it side, side, side? What do you think? Sorry for all the scrolling. It's fine. Um, I think it's a uh, side angle side. You would be correct. Which indicates that almost everything else that's written is irrelevant to getting the answer. And you should consider that when you're working with standardized tests, that there's a lot of additional information that you don't need. Yeah. You probably signed a legal disclaimer to go and her mom and dad did when you went and do airsoft. Yeah, we did. It was we like don't read it. You, we don't read it all. No, I didn't read it at all. You just read, you know, you got a sign, so I signed. You, you know, you read enough to know what you're signing. Yeah, yeah. So, um, all right. If quadrilateral PQRS is a rectangle, if a quadrilateral means four sides, P to Q to R to S, if it's a rectangle, and tell me what do you what do you know about a rectangle? What do you remember about this from you know? I don't know, I'll say sixth grade math, you know, what's a rectangle? It's like a longer square. Okay, it's like a square extended one way. What do you know about the sides? What can you tell me about the sides? They're equal to each other. So top and bottom are the same, left and right are the same. Yeah. How about the angle? What do you know about the any of the angles? They're all 90 degrees. They're all 90 degrees, yeah. Okay. And you probably know this, but wouldn't have maybe been no, to write it down, but the diagonals are actually congruent. Okay. So let's see here. Do any of these, I guess I would start with the sides. Do any of the sides, like these are hard to see. Is SR congruent to SR congruent to RQ? No. Nope. How about PS congruent to PR? No. So those are out. Now we're down to the angles. So PSQ, P to SQ, that's this angle right here. It's congruent to Q to S to R. That's this angle right here. Could be true. The other one is STP. STP, so this one right here, is congruent to QTR, Q to P to R. Um. Um, 
So this is where you gotta be careful because this is one of those like where they're both sometimes true, but one is always true. And so let me try to give you an example here. This is a, this is a, a rectangle and this is a rectangle. There's that angle and then there's that angle there. The one on the left kind of looks like these two angles might be congruent, might be. But down here, you can see that this angle is much smaller than this angle. Yeah. Okay. So while this could be true, why is this always true? This is something we learned maybe the first or second lesson. It's It has to do with the fact that it's an X, that they meet at an X. Yeah, I was going to say. What is, do you remember that word? Um, like, if I had like a multiple choice answer, I'd probably know. All right, so it is vertical angles. Vertical angles are congruent. So it's it's that these are always congruent here. Yeah. These are the vertical angles, whereas these could be, might be, sometimes are, but not always. So I believe this, this is your best choice there. All right. Okay, so sometimes you go, here's, this is another test taking strategy. Sometimes you go right to the answers and when you ask yourself, what is the same? What is different? And you, you actually do this when you're playing Airsoft. You look at the, the out, I don't know what you call it, the field, is that what it's called? Um, Where you got? I think it's just like the room. It was like an room. indoors okay. or something. Okay. Well, so that's not a great analogy, but you 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 survey mm -hmm. and you say, what's the same? What's the, I mean, just with your friends, they get a haircut. You're like, oh, it's my friend, but he's got you know his haircut. Um, yeah. You, you want to look and be like, oh, this is all the same. This is different. Or these, you know, what's the same? What's different? And uh, I'd like you to just try to tell me something that you see that's the same or different or something like that here. It's um, usually easier to do the differences. I see that like in the middle of the sentence it says um, B, C, D for the first two. And then mm -hmm. it says C, B, A for the next two. Okay. So that, what that does is it helps you to figure out, well, which one is it? Are they show, showing that's congruent? Is it A, D, C or B, C, D? So now you go back and you try to figure out, well, and maybe you can, maybe you can't, but that's part of it okay now how about this over here on the right um it says angle side angle and then side a side angle side okay. and then at the bottom it's the cba one saying angle right. side angle and then side angle side so the way the way this works now is is if you can figure out which triangles are proving congruent that gets you down to two answers or if you can figure out if they're using asa or sas that gets you down to to two answers. So it'll be easier for you to use the one on the right to see what is being shown as being congruent. Okay. So All like right. right here, this is a side. This is a side. What is what does these next two refer to? Um angles. Angles. But it's the same ones, ADC and BCD. It says they're both right angles, therefore the right angles are congruent. So are you using ASA or SAS? Um, side angle side? Yes. So that means it's either, it's either the B or the D. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Okay, now. You got to go in and you got to draw, you got to like say, okay, AD is congruent to BC. You still don't know which triangles it is. BC is congruent to DC. So I'll help here. Um, a, D, C, B, D, C. So AD is congruent to BC. That's this first side. 
BC is congruent to itself. Then angle ADC, 90, and BCD, 90. They are congruent. So which is correct now? Is it ADC to BCD or ADC to CBA? Um, the second one or like, how do I, like the BCD one. Yes, there you go. Now you have it. All right. All right. So go ahead and submit that and um, let me know if you, uh, have any feedback or we need to look at anything again. Um, the other student I'm working with, he has asked his instructor for retakes as needed. Um, oh yeah, they allow you to do that. I did it on like a few of my assignments. Okay. Yeah, so you, there's I'm, like this reminder app and it's like a group chat and you just say, hey, I did this assignment, but like I accidentally did that. And they're like, okay, you know, just resubmit it after you're done fixing it. Great. It's nice when you can do that in life. Yeah, that was the only one that we got wrong, by the way. Got a 96. Okay. okay. So uh, I have no idea. Maybe we just marked the wrong one. I don't know. I was pretty tired last week when we were working on some of these. So yeah, you know, me too. <laughs> you can uh, chalk that up there. I need more sleep like most of us. All right. So uh, just, uh, you know, whenever you're ready, we can look at a next lesson and uh, Keep moving through it. All right. Did you do anything over the weekend? I got to spend time with someone. That was, was pretty nice. Um, we did some shopping, took care nice. of some things. So. Yeah, it's uh, it's nice, you know, when you can connect with someone and have that time together, and you find that that matters more as you get older. Just you, know, you, you got your friends now, and you probably always have your friends, but you know, you it's great when you can, you know, keep interacting with them. Yeah, much of the rest of your day spent, you know, adulting, and uh, and man, it's hot right now. You know, it's hard to do anything except be inside. I know, right. It's like a yeah. hundred degrees over here every day. I mean, this is it, it. I thought it's hot today. I thought it was in the one wells or you know. Something. Oh, like it's like a hundred, and then it just slowly goes up one degree, like every hour, thirty minutes. It's <laughs> so stupid. It's, the problem is that when you you know when you think it's going to cool down at like six or seven, it's still a hundred and it's just, you know whatever. And yeah. my weather app shows a high today of 110. <laughs> Isn't that stupid? Yeah. yeah. It's 106 right now. It's like, what? All right. So uh, we got trapezoid shown. Um, okay. So this is a problem you can do on your own here. You need to determine point L. You need to give me the coordinates of point L, whatever they are. And then you have to transform them by adding five and subtracting four to them. All right. So the point of point L right now is three, negative two. Okay. Then adding five, it'd be eight, negative six. Okay. So what is your answer there? Number three. Good. So looks like you're doing transformations. I don't know, maybe some dilations. I think you said you understood this pretty well last week it was part of the course you understood i don't recall here yeah so this is so this is kind of a going backwards problem they're they're giving you the transformation and they're like how do you get there this is like giving someone directions it's like how do you go from f to f prime and you first go right left then you go up down but you have to know where you're starting you're starting from f to f prime All right, so looks like you're going over seven to the right. Okay. And then going down to another seven, so. Okay, so which of those answers would that be? 
Uh, the bottom one, number four. Got it. All right, pentagon P Q R S T and its reflection pentagon P prime Q prime R prime F prime P prime are shown in the coordinate plane below. What is the line of reflection? So, think of the line of reflection as you, you, you know you have a mirror in your house. Uh, when you look at the mirror, so there's the, there's there's these things called a uh, uh, real and virtual images. When you if you ever take a a class in optics, physics, and they, they talk about mirrors and lenses and stuff. So yeah. is the image you see, or tell me about the image you see when you look in the mirror. And I don't mean to describe for yourself. Just tell me what you see. Um, well, I, I see myself in my background. Okay. And and if you have, if you get further away from the mirror, what do you see? Like a smaller me. Okay. And if you get closer? A bigger me. Right. Okay. So is the image real or virtual? And real in this case means physically real, like it physically is there. No. It's virtual. Okay. So you're trying to figure out where the mirror is. And it's it's essentially the dividing line between them. Now it's it's much easier to draw. It's right there. That's the dividing line right there. Would you agree? Yeah, the Y. Okay, so here, here's some reminders. X equals a number is a vertical line. Y equals a number is a horizontal line. So is this a vertical or horizontal line? Horizontal. You've got them switched. So a vertical is up, down. Think of horizontal like being on the horizon. You look out straight ahead, the sun is on the horizon. Oh. Okay. okay. Um, that's one way to remember it. Uh, there's other ways, but you 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 do need to know the difference between these for like algebra too. You'll you'll definitely want to know the difference between these. So, this is an x equals a number. Now, here's how I I learned it. That's really made sense to me. X is always okay. X is always. Well, what is what like if you pick an x value, any point along here. This is zero negative six, and here's another point zero negative one. What is x always in these ordered pairs? Zero. Here. X is always zero. And that means X equals zero. zero. So if you remember it that way, X equals X is always, always a pretty strong word. It's it's a forever word. Yeah. Not uh, maybe one way to remember this. All right. New question here. Anything to think about. All right. So if triangle X y z is reflect, reflected across the line y equals one so again what that means is that y is always one so in terms of how you graph it if you forget if you forget was that horizontal or was it vertical you make ordered pairs so like pick an x okay my favorite x is three y is always one now pick another x you give me an x value now it's like random or whatever you want yeah oh i uh, four four five? no just the x y oh, is always so. y is always what one so for a line you need two points three one four one there's your line in both of these ordered pairs what is y one y is always one y is always one okay i want you to do your best to reflect this over this line and figure out the new value of x. Uh, x is up here. Now it's going to come down here somewhere. Oh. You're basically like flipping it over that. All right. So let's see. The y would be at. So we don't, uh, so we actually don't care about y. And I'm only bringing it up because it just asks you for x. Oh, oh, sorry. One. Two, three. It'd be four, negative three. Good to me. Let's take a look here. So it's one, two, three, four away. One, two, three, four away. There you go. All right. Yeah. 
I don't know if this, yeah, no, I'll, I'll say that. Okay, so like, here's what reflections really are. And and you did this, we all did this when we were a kid. Um, you, you had, a, you folded a piece of paper in half. And then you, you made like a heart on one side, you painted a heart or you, you know, you, you painted, you know, person. And then you, you closed you close the paper in half, like, you know, this, this comes on top of this. And then what happens on the other side when you open it back up? You get the other heart, you get the person. Yeah. Did you ever do anything like that in art class? I'm pretty sure I have. I just can't remember. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So um, that's all reflections are. Okay, what set of reflections would carry hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F onto itself? Basically, they're saying like, what can you do so that you get back where you started? So if you go X axis, okay, that means it's that means this hexagon is down here, and then you go Y equals X. That's a little bit harder. That's this diagonal one, so it'd be up here, and then X axis again. That's here and then go back here that's looking pretty good uh, all right let me try to show you that terrible hexagon let me see if they have a hexagon tool in here nope okay. i don't they have advanced shapes all right Okay, so the first one, you flip it over the uh, the x-axis, so it, it comes down here, like that. Then over the line y equals x, so this is the line y equals x, so it essentially just comes up, comes up here. Like that. Then you go over the x-axis again, so it comes down here. I'm drawing an octagon. Oh, that's bad. Sorry. It's fine. It's like that. And then the line y equals x again is this one. So it comes back right back where, where it started. Oh. I don't know. I don't know how you're supposed to do these on your own. Um, let me see if there's a I don't think they have a transformation animation. Cool. No. Not okay, we'll we'll move move along here. Um, All right. Like right. I, so I believe that. Is, yeah, I think that's everything for this grouping. So, if you, whenever you're ready, if you wanna. Gotcha. All right, so Pentagon, you gotta know where you're starting with. So you're, you're starting down here in the lower left. And you're going to the one in the upper right. So this is just another, you have to kind of decide what's happening here. There, now it's it's a it's a left, right, but then a reflection. All right. So for example, let's just say it moved up, it would be reflecting over the the y-axis. If it moves more to the right, then it's probably gonna be a reflection over the x-axis. Yeah. I say it would move to the right. Okay. So which one? Which one of these is that? Uh let's see. I mean, they all move to the right, truthfully. You know, it's a seven, one, seven, and one. Which one moves into this quadrant over here on the lower right? Um, the first one. Okay. Which means it could also be the the other one here. 
This is the X axis. This is the Y axis. Well, I, I picked the first one because it says reflect over the X axis. Another one right. says the Y axis, but you just explained, that, you know. That, that's good enough. All right, let's keep, uh, keep going here. All right, um, triangle ABCD is translated using the rule plus one, minus four. So the, this one, you have to sort of draw something. So I'm gonna draw, actually, I do need to use the gridded plane here. So I'm gonna draw a triangle. And we're going to go right one and then down four. So here is, well, why did that happen? That's new. Okay, I'm going to draw a triangle here uh, like that. Here's our original triangle. Now, every point is going right one and then down four. So right one and then down four. So I'm going to take this top point, A, go right one and down four. One, two, three, four. There's A prime. This next one on the, on the left here, right one, and then down one, two, three. I'm gonna go down one more, four, that's B prime. And then C, right one, one, two, three, four. So you have to make kind of a, an educated guess about what's happening. So let's take a look what it is next. If a line segment is drawn from A to A prime. So here's a line segment from A to A prime and from point B to B prime. So here's B to B prime. What do we know about those? Do they share the same midpoint? Um, like, like the midpoint of that one's there, the midpoint of that one's there, are those the same? Yeah. They are? Uh, it's like your friend's there and you're there. You're not in the same place. Oh, yeah, well then no. Okay, so that one's out. Do they create diameters of concentric circles? No. I don't see any circles. <laughs> okay, look at the last two. I want you to decide between the last two. Oh, well, they look parallel. They sure do. Now, you know what assuming makes, but you can reasonably do that here. I mean, they don't even intersect, so they how can they be perpendicular? Yeah, exactly. Okay. I think this is the next one. Uh, all right, so this one you can do on your own. Um, you're just translate. They're giving you the transformations. You got to decide which one is it. And uh, let me know what you come up with, and I'll uh, help to confirm. All right. Ah. 
Would it be the first one? So is, is each point, are you adding one to each X and Y value to get the new ones? That's my question to you. You got to mm. give me that answer. No, that's just, okay. that's not it. Okay, so the, and that, so that's how you do this. You say, well, and, and by elimination, okay, it's not A, but I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's not just or, this though. You, there's these two, these first. You have to first decide if you're flipping the X and the Y and then doing this. Like there's an order here to it. I, I misspoke. So like, do you, does the negative three become negative three and then you add one to it for the first one? Yes. The Y, do you negate the Y? Yeah, you get zero. But then when you add one to it, you get one. So that's looking pretty good. So now did that work for the next two? Two, when you, you keep two and then you add one, do you get three? Yes. Then the negative one, you negate it. So you get one and then you add one to get two. That's looking pretty good. You should try it for all of them though. So negative one, add one, you get zero. The two in the y coordinate, you negate negative two and add one becomes negative one. Yes, it is letter A. Sorry, I was looking at something else. I was multitasking and I wasn't doing a very good job of staying on top of this. It's fine. All right. So does that kind of make sense here to you? Oh no, no, that makes sense. So I was just like confusing myself because I kept like looking at one of them. I kept looking at the wrong one. I was like, what's going on? You know? Yeah, I see that. Um but no, I, I understand. Okay. All right. Um, let's, uh, let's see, let's drop in the chat here. So which transformation represents a line over the X, the line Y equals X. So here's the line Y equals X. And let's just look at the uh, point here. So let's say you had a point like this, uh, one comma two. Uh, that's not a good one. Um, so uh, this is, so this is like a pure textbook thing here. So let me, let me drop this in the chat. Um, I want to share that screen. So this, this is a one-page reference sheet that you would want to have in this course. Now, since you're just doing it for the summer, you don't need this, but um, here is the rule for the line y equals x. Like this is just a known, known rule. And uh, there's a bunch of them. So you want the one that's y equals x. That's this third one here. You're supposed to match it up with one of these answers like that. Uh, it would be the third one. You got it. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's see here. Next one. All right. Right, we're going to do one more, like, well, then we'll stop for today. So let's take a look. Your triangle ABC has been reflected over the Y axis to create A prime, B prime, C prime. So it's basically this reflection right here. So you can see that that these sides go together and these sides go together, and these sides go together. So which of those statements is true? I think that's enough to be able to get you to figure that one out. Hmm. The first one is true. Is your answer. All right. So we do unfortunately have to stop here for today. We got some things to take care of, but uh, we got a lot done.